Hello and welcome to a terrible Dutch accent. I'm back baby and I'm trying something new. DJ Q the tunes. Perfect. As absolutely no one of you knows, I like to swim. Almost every day if I get the chance. And because I work as a freelance animator, my workday begins whenever the hell I please. I work from like 1pm till around 2am or something. Healthy. But that gives me a bit of free time in the morning so I can go swimming from 10 to 11. And because normal people with normal jobs are at their normal work around that time, my swimming companions outage me by like 50 years? One thing I didn't know before coming here is that I was going to be adopted into the local elderly community. Because apparently they see it as their job as my new grandparents to involve me in most of their conversations. But one thing I didn't prepare for is how little shit old people give. The very first conversation I ever overheard was between these two elderly ladies who were swimming in front of me. In this conversation lady one asked, hey have you heard anything from Rob lately? And the other lady answered, Rob is dead Anya. And Anya was like, oh, anyway. What? No, not anyway, Anya, what the hell happened to Rob? Is he okay? No, probably not, because he's dead. This was the very first conversation I overheard and I think it was safe to say I was in for a wild ride. On the second day of Christmas, I was just chatting with my newly adopted grandfather when two people in their 60s joined the conversation. The lady turned to me and said, Oh sorry dear, we just ignored you, let us introduce ourselves. And I was like, kind of formal but ok. This is Cor and I'm Nelly and together we're known as CNN. And they were like so goddamn proud of themselves. It didn't help that the other elderly people thought it was like the funniest bit ever. And I didn't know how to handle that kind of situation so I just swam away like an adult. On the third day of Hanukkah I got introduced to Ellie by my new BFF Frank who is now like my adopted grandfather. Frank talks like this. Jamie girl look at that man. Doesn't he have just the most handsome face you've ever seen? And I was like I guess he's kinda handsome. And Frank is like too bad he's insane. Anyway he was like Jamie I really have to do this voice don't I? Jamie, this is Ellie, and if you want to befriend her, you have to hate windmills too. And Ellie was like, I hate windmills. And I was like, gay. And apparently that's like her whole personality. There's nothing else, just a burning hate for windmills. Which is funny because a friend and I went hiking through the local nature park a few weeks earlier and we found this laminated pamphlet just stuck to the you are here sign with just a whole bunch of bad things about windmills written on it. And there wasn't even a single windmill in sight. So I guess it's fair to say that we found the potential culprit. On the fourth day of Easter there was the post-it incident. For some reason someone just scattered a bunch of post-it notes around the pool. You know, as people do. Nothing was written on them, there were just like empty post-it notes all around. There even was one sticking inside the pool just above the waterline. And the OG swim club was just huddling around this single post-it note discussing something. So I swam up to it too and I accidentally made this small wave so it got loose. And when it hit the water, the group just freaked the fuck out. They couldn't have gotten out of that pool faster with their old age and all. They looked like they were just straight up panicking and Frank was yelling back at me. Watch out, that's how you catch COVID. How Frank, how does that even work? That doesn't make any sense. On the 5th Valentine's Day there was a girl my age. She was taking pictures of herself wearing this cute swimsuit. When she walked up to the guy next to her and asked if he could help her out making a video of her swimming. It was for like a video vlog or something. But the man was like oh uh huh haha no thank you. Last time I did something like that I almost risked 20 years of chill time. What? Then they just walked off. Meanwhile I was like. Sir, hold up. I just want to talk. And like my friends so eloquently commented when I posted this on Facebook. Right to jail, right away. In the end I took the video for her, but the thought of having to do 20 years for this never left my mind. So there you have it, some stories from my small town swimming pool. No, there is no intelligent life here. And if you'd like to hear some more stories, because I've got plenty, please let me know in the comments. I'm trying some new things for YouTube, so please bear with me while I try to figure this out. So anyway, mm, goodbye.